So here we are in the Oxman Library down on Arborist Avenue. We're starting to go through some of these books that are on the shelf. Uh, this goes with the uh, Facebook group, Facebook album. This one is the Certified Arborist list. Let's see if we can zoom in on this a little bit. That way you can see what's going on. Uh, 2006 Pacific Northwest Chapter ISA. They did uh, quite a quite a lot of uh, indexing and a full listing by location. <laughs> so as I'm kind of coming up on the end of my career, I'm dying. Got this long issue. So we'll just try and get through this. This is hundreds of files here. Uh, this is a, this, this is the, um, this is a uh, abstracts list from 1980 that was put out by the feds uh, down at the uh, Forest Service and uh, State University of New York Pinchot Institute for Conservation Studies. So there's, uh, uh, wow, this is a uh, Pretty amazing little uh, little bibliography. All right, let's just let's just zoom through here. Um, back up just to taste. There. This is uh, Arbor Day Foundation. Trees are terrific. This is like, uh, whoa, this one. Mimi Steinheider. Okay. So, there's even a stewardship pledge in here. Look at that. If you want to take care of trees and you promise to do it, Here's one from Andy Lipkiss, Planter's Guide to the Urban Forest, from the uh, Relief People. Uh, Fern Tiger did this. Public Forest Inks, 1983. So this is a huge, huge, uh, 196 pages bibliography. Uh, Wow, those drawings look familiar. Yeah, okay, moving on. Seeing the forest for the trees. This is in Oregon. Uh, this is 1993. This one is... Uh, Paul Reese worked on this. Uh, and this is out of the... Oh, hey, guess what? I'm in here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Ha-ha. <laughs> oh, they called me Mike back in those days. So, uh, Dennis Lewick, Scott Reed, uh, Richard Seidman. Oh, my goodness. So he was the uh, executive director of Friends of Trees. And it's the uh, Oregon Urban and For Community Forestry Council. I'm going to have to put this one on top because I'm in there. Oh, and I've got a spare copy. Hey, who wants that? Okay, here's one in um, this is a USDA Forest Service state and private forestry uh, urban and community forestry challenging the West uh, from Denver and the Council of Western State Forests Pacific Northwest <laughs> come on guys let's have a date don't see the date. All right, this is early on. This is 1993, there you go. Okay, here's a Vermeer catalog, hooked up with Cheryl in 20, this is from 2013. It's huge, 212 pages. Here's the ISA uh, ITCC rule book. Let's see, what was the date on this one? 2011, lists all these guys. Okay, so this is, uh, you know, 
Uh, here's the secured foot foot lock uh, score sheets. All the score sheets. Ken Palmer worked on this. Okay, here's ISA. This is this is their their sales book. If you want to send them money, go for it. The date 2013. Here's American Forests National Register of Big Trees. Deborah Gangloff. Uh, 1990, Gary Mall. Thank you, Gary. Gene Gray. Neil Sampson. There you go. And Doug Cowan from Davy. They sponsored this. Yes, Davy was really into big trees. It still is in 2023. Here's here's your SOD. Southern Oak Death. So Sudden Oak Death. This was a conference that I went to in 2002 down in uh, uh, tra, 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 da, da, down near down near um, Richardson State Park. All kinds of uh, plant pathology stuff. Right, right near the uh, Confusion Hill. Here's some protocols and a uh, uh, warning. So that was 2002. Forestry for program for Oregon, 1990. Oh boy, FPFO. This was one of the few times when uh, the, the state of Oregon got out of their logging, <clears throat> got an urban forest hat on. So thanks to um, uh, Paul Reese for that. Boy, once he took over, that was it. Those guys. We're toast. Here's Jim Brown. Jim Brown and I got into it a little bit. I would I sent him a letter and he just did not like it. And he thought that I was using uh, some uh, extreme language. Okay. <clears throat> and now this one here is uh, Craig Johnson. And that is actually being used to pop up this list. Uh, bibliography stuff here all right so here we go we're just gonna we're just gonna run through all this stuff for, so for all you hit students of history in the future here's William Dietrich and he's he's out of looks like uh, Seattle Times big cedars look at that he's the author of our Northwest column on Pacific Northwest magazine. There you go. So, thanks, Mr. Dietrich. Here's another one. Uh, Seattle Times, Pacific Northwest magazine. Comes out every Sunday called Falling for Trees. Let's see what they have to say. So this book has a bunch of other stuff in here. Uh, so this is the kind of this is an example of the kind of stuff that I say save I save this stuff they, they include a lot of logging romancing the trees here's um, an art teachers Suzanne Brooker here's a sawmill Uh, Kara Solomon wrote this and with photographs by Ken Lambert. Oh my goodness, here is a climbing photo. That's huge. Ben Huff and Logan Huff. Wreck climbers. It's a way to relieve stress and build confidence. Are we getting all this? Hell yeah, we're getting all this. All right, let's just zoom through here. Uh, Here's the National Arbor Day Foundation, Tree City USA, Keep a Great Thing Growing America. We gave out these brochures by the thousands, ten thousands. How to get involved in Tree City USA. Okay, now this one is by Seattle Audubon Society. And they did a, uh, they did a little uh, tree inventory module. Uh, here's a sample of a block where you could go down and ask all the neighbors if they can uh, allow you to come in their yard, let you 
let you uh, measure the tree. So what we did was we wrapped a tape measure around a lot of trees. We would hang this door hanger on on the door uh, ahead of time and uh, tell them we're coming back. So Seattle Audubon Canopy Connections. Thanks to Matt Mega. Yeah, Matt, he did a fantastic thing here. He had a little um, an intern from Conservation Corps, Allison Pollock. She did that. So thank you, Allison. Wow, Allison, you are a, a history-making individual from. God, when was this? This is like 2005 or so. Okay. Ah. Here's Viv. Uh, protestable. This has nothing to do with trees, but I did get involved with doing photo photography for Viv McPeak down at uh, Hempfest for about six or eight years. Okay, here is uh, ANSI. This is ANSI Z133.1. So this is how you make sure you don't have an accident. ANSI Z133.1. ANSI was divided up into several different uh, standards. Like for example, here is A300. Oh my goodness, this is the tree, tree pruning. This one is ANSI A3. Oh, this is part six. Transplanting. What was that last one? This last one was site development, site planning and construction. So here is Z133.1. This is the 2006 version. Here's one from 1995. Oh, see, I saved all this stuff. This is uh, A300, 1995. That was be that was when there was only two, safety and pruning. Here is 2006 ANSI uh, Z133.1. Here's A300 from the year 2000. Uh, Z133.1, safety. So uh, safety was a big thing for me. Okay, so here is uh, plant amnesty spring 2020. Now I was on the board in 05-06 um, kind of um, uh, tag teaming with Cass Turnbull and uh, that's uh, another whole issue. Okay, tree climber. This is how I got into wreck climbing. Uh, this was actually my first foray into wreck climbing. Here's Jerry Baronic. Uh, on the cover of Tree Climber, a journal for recreational tree climbing. This is volume one, number one. And uh, this was about uh, 88 or no, 86, 87. Wow. And um, so there's a picture in here that just blew me away. And uh, here's a picture of a nice lady in a wheelchair who's climbing. And then uh, this picture right here. This was the picture that started it all for me. Um, I saw this. I saw this photo uh, of Jerry standing next to this 15-foot diameter tree, and uh, I wanted to do that. So I called him up, and the next day I went down there, and that was uh, that was uh, the beginning of a long relationship. And Jerry and I still contact each other. Went and saw him last year. Here is, ah, this is 1991. This is the Urban and Community Forestry Act uh, called American the Beautiful. And whew, I printed this out on one of those really noisy printers on this, this uh, paper, 1991. I lobbied for that along with Gary Mall. Thank you, Gary, for doing that. Here is James Coleman. Wow, and he's still around. He's RCA number 555. And uh, he, t he did a little workshop at the Washington Park Arboretum in 2018. Thanks, James. He's really... Oh, oh my goodness, my, my, my tripod just collapsed a page. All right. It doesn't... There. Tightening up the...
There we go. Uh, Seattle City Forests, an owner's manual. This goes way back. Uh, Seattle City Forest was put out by the uh, Charles Royer, who was the mayor at the time. And I am not seeing a date on here. Uh, this goes back to, describes the city arborist. A delicate balance. Mentions um, a lot of planting. A recommended street tree list. A cooperative uh, element. Who to call? Marvin Black in the city arborist, uh, the horticulturist, Terry Brady. It's, there is no date on here. Michelle Stafford put this together. Uh, Victor Steinbrook provided some of the, uh, some of the, uh, wow, why doesn't that thing have a date on it? Okay. Here's Arbor Age. This is a this is one of my uh, articles that I wrote in 1995. So that was back when uh, I was very inspired by the literature. Okay, it, this article is called "The Final Maintenance Option," and uh, it just basically describes how to decide if a tree should be removed. Uh, they use stock photos. I didn't, uh, I was wordy, a professional tree surgeon in Grants Pass, Oregon. I was very wordy, but not much of a photographer at the time. So um, there's a picture of Ken Ottman, Ken, Ken Palmer. Who else is in here? This is a great uh, window on the world. What's a consulting arborist? Let's see who wrote this one. This is a great article. I wanted to be a consulting arborist. And it's just a stock ASCA article. American Society of Consulting Arborists. Okay, here's uh, Seattle, Washington Municipal Code, Chapter 25.11. Uh, this is a, a highlighted version from 2021. 2020, so 2511. Hasn't really been updated lately. Here is a conference proceedings. Uh, brochure from the Pacific Northwest chapter in 2017 called People and Trees Adapting to Change and Scott Baker's on the program Jim Barbarinas uh, and uh, three days worth of conferences where was this one held this kind of looks like um, Linwood Washington okay Libby Soden chaired that one thanks Libby Boda Garden Foundation. This is the fall 2017 annual report. I was very big in the foundation at the time. I wasn't ever, I've never been a member of the foundation, but I've, I've been a member of the foundation. I've never been a member of the board, but uh, this was when uh, Joy Okasaki took over and really uh, retired from the city. She retired from private industry. And there it's got my mailing sticker on there. The 90-year anniversary. Kubota Garden is a fantastic 1927 Japanese garden. Okay, here's one. Uh, this is a conference program from 2017 of the West Seattle Garden Tour. And, uh, of course, I was a sponsor of the West Seattle Garden Tour. Still am. There's a stamp where you go to each, each garden to prove that uh, you can't sell this book to somebody else and uh, so I got uh, I got quite a bit of good exposure I really enjoyed um, uh, seeing uh, well well maintained well designed gardens here's one from 2013 the art of gardening so that was a one-day event July 21st it cost about 20 to 25 dollars to attend this thing and it takes all day. Workbook, Guide for Plant Appraisal. Uh, it, we're coming up on 20 minutes. All right, I don't know if I'm going through this too fast or too slow for you people. This is gonna be looked at uh, in the Oxman archives. This is the uh, Council of Tree and Landscape Appraisers, ninth edition. 
So this was after a big long pause, like 10 years um, after the 8th edition uh, was reigning supreme. And the 9th edition really is complicated. Wow, is it ever complicated. And uh, <laughs> the lawyers got a hold of it, let's put it that way. This is a Pacific Northwest chapter conference program from 2000 uh, called the Annual Training Conference in Boise where I attended and uh, there was a really nice photograph that I took of uh, uh, a bunch of people looking at a tree inspecting a tree and a squirrel was in the tree looking at them inspecting the tree. I hope that picture uh, makes it. Jim Ingram is in that photo. Uh, Ken Palmer gave his art and practical science. Their idea of a fundraiser for research was a horseshoe tournament. 2000. Okay, here's an Arbor Day uh, Foundation. It used to be called the National Arbor Day Foundation. It's still, oh, it is called the National Arbor Day Foundation. So that kind of dates this. Um, John Rosenau says 1988. And of course, I did uh, some correspondence and met John. <clears throat> Fantastic leader and uh, really got things going. Here is R.J. Laverne. Uh, later he went with uh, Davey, but he was at Sewell at the time, and he did aerial uh, photo surveys. He, he called it photogrammetry. So RJ, um, a pioneer in, in remote sensing. Um, then, okay, so over here. Now, this is tree inventory information. I don't know what this is. Oh, Fred Baker at Utah State. Fred Baker was on the uh, Oregon Urban Community Forestry Council along with me and about 26 other people. Beth Buchanan did a little uh, presentation. Oh, this is the 1991 Urban Forestry Conference, the third one that I went to in Los Angeles. They did a, a tree inventory workshop. I hope uh, these people get a lot of mileage out of this. Here's uh, uh, American Forest 1994. Wow, that is a lot of people. I wonder if I was in here. Don Willicke's in here and uh, Gary Mall. So they just have the minutes. Pretty, pretty extensive minutes. Really extensive minutes. 1994, that was after the uh, American Forests America the Beautiful program got going. This one is a reprint from American Forest Magazines, reprint by Gary Mall. Thank you, Gary. Wow, did you ever inspire me? And we contacted each other uh, a couple times in person and uh, got a lot out of it. Uh, American Forest really did uh, was responsible for getting federal of funding legislation for urban forestry starting, uh, well, they, they lobbied for it for years and it really hit when Jimmy Carter took uh, office as President of the United States. Um, here's one from Baltimore in 1991 that called City Forest and Trees. Uh, they have a nomination form if you have a notable tree. Here's the large tree argument, fantastic. Uh, Southern uh, Urban Forest Center out of the Forest Service and the large tree argument was a great thing to reprint and then I had pr prints made up and I would give those out to people. Here's the Green Seattle Partnership. Um, this was the monitoring program for the uh, <clears throat> for the uh, Parks Department's cooperative program and uh, we did a little test plot over there in Kubota Garden. I would love to go back there and take a look at that. Um, that, that plot is right next to a housing development. Okay, Tree Services Magazine. Here's Dan Krause. Dan and I did a lot of climbing together. This particular magazine cover is from February of 2008. And Tree Services was kind of a wannabe Arbor Age magazine, like uh, Michael Tain. Uh, former Seattle Parks Department uh, arborist did an uh, article on blocks and pulleys. 
kind of like a takeoff on Pierre, uh, um, the art and science of practical uh, uh, tree care. Peter Den Donzelli. Okay, so what else we got? We've got uh, Pacific Northwest Trees, which was a quarterly. This this uh, this magazine had morphed out of Susan Murray's control and was put in control of uh, Pacific Northwest Chapter. Uh, this one is from 07. And I think this was a big improvement. Um, lists new members says, oh, Susan Murray is the editor, so she finally got a budget. They finally gave her a budget to have this thing printed up decently. And they got regional education coordinators. They had um, registration form for the Willamette Valley Green Industry Seminar in Aurora, Oregon. They had advertisements from uh, Dick Abbott, uh, ACRT, uh, Davey, Silva cell. Uh, I wonder how many silver cells are, are are still in, in in play. Jim Barbarinas did a species report. Uh, results of the exams. Rich Holmes did a volunteer spotlight featuring Bob Mazzani, Bill Owen, and Terry Flanagan in. Uh, he talks about uh, Brian and Travis, his kids. And these are the officers and the directors. Oh, there's Mark Snyder. There you go, Mark is uh, one of the active uh, 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 Facebook people. Okay, that one, now, now we got summer of 2007, so I kept a lot of these. I was super into urban forestry in 07. Here's one, uh, 0708, a report on that uh, Boise event. Here's Jack McGee, he was president for a while. He was one of our um, uh, utility arborists who stepped up and volunteered and, and gave the ISA a big boost in the Pacific Northwest. Here, oh, this was a great little work project put together by uh, Nolan Runquist as a volunteer effort. People came and pruned trees, uh, street trees, and uh, he had a leftover budget at the end of the year, kind of like a slush fund, and he gave that money to the tree fund, and then we all put our stamp on the tree fund. Here's my brothers. Oh, John, hey, he worked for Easter Seals, and there he is. He's got the um, uh, ribbon opening. He was in, uh, responsible for giving services down there in Los Angeles. Here's the ISA Milwaukee program in 2001, which I attended. Ken Ottman was the chair. It's, it, and then I was pushing the uh, uh, tree fund climb. And I don't know that I got in there. Um, here is the 01 Harrison Hot Springs Conference. 2001 from uh, PNW ISA, Pacific Northwest Chapter ISA. Let's, how about if we just turn some of these around? Here is 2002 International Conference in ISA. I was a big booster of that. Of course, the, the rest is history. We'll, we'll tell you about some of that stuff. Here's the uh, ACRT, Dick Abbott um, and Peter Dubish put together this book about um, how not to get zapped. Western chapter in 03. I went to Las Vegas. <laughs> I had a little motor home that I drove over there and uh, met some people, hung out, had a fantastic time. Um, Robert Phillips uh, was a big part of that. Helen Stone was the uh, uh, editor and uh, she was the conference chairman. Here's a tree law packet, wow. This is really crude. Uh, this is like just a, a stapled together pack of mimeograph from 1989. Um, and then as we keep on going, we get into some actual books. So Jim Urban, 